This isn't a cookie. It's a pie. Well, would you look at that, fast foodies. Once again, it's a Tuesday. I think, I think you know what that means. I said it last week and I'll say it this week and I'll say it every single Tuesday. It's time for Crumble! Welcome back everyone to the Fast Foodies YouTube channel. And now if you didn't know that Tuesdays means crumble cookies, well then that probably means that you're not subscribed. So if you could go ahead and change that by well hitting the little subscribe button down there in the corner, I would truly appreciate it. It makes my day. Plus, then you don't miss out on more fun crumble cookie reviews just like this. And the best part is you become a part of the Fast Foodie Nation. Now, even though, even though this is a crumble review, once again, this is not a crumble cookie review. Yep, this is the second week in a row where I'm not reviewing a crumble cookie. I don't know, I don't know what's going on. Crumble, I'm gonna ask you guys this question. And I know that Crumble watches these reviews because they've commented a few times. But can you please, please let me, and more importantly, the Fast Foodie Nation know, why do you guys keep coming out with things that aren't cookies? Are you guys having a little bit of an identity crisis? Or is this something that's gonna be long-term? Are you guys branching out into different sweets and desserts? Hopefully, it's just sweets. <laughs> I truly hope that crumble doesn't start coming out with, uh, you know, crumble pizzas or crumble empanadas, whatever it may be. Crumble, if you're gonna make new products, at least please keep them sweet. But as I mentioned, yeah, I, I don't really know what's going on. All I know is that last week, I think I reviewed the crumble cake and this week on the menu, I saw a brand new key lime pie. Now, while Crumble goes ahead and answers that question, because I'm sure it's gonna take them uh, a few minutes to do so, let me go ahead and uh, read you the description of this Crumble key lime pie cookie that isn't a cookie. You see, uh, I had to write this down, write it in my notes, because it's a little bit of a, a longer one. So Crumble, Crumble writes, it's not a cookie, it's a pie. A chilled key lime pie made with fresh lime zest and a buttery graham cracker crust, adorned with decorative whipped cream and topped with a fresh lime slice. Sounds pretty good. And now besides this not being a cookie, this is also the second key lime pie product, I guess, that they have come out with. Because I have in my notes on what day was this? On March 26, 2022, I reviewed, or I had, I tasted, I'm not sure if I reviewed it on that day, but I bought a crumble key lime pie cookie. It was actually a cookie. I have the description right here. All the flavors of a cool key lime pie, including graham cracker crust, a dollop of whipped cream, and a fresh lime. Now, if you wanna see that review, then just stick around to the end of this one and I'll make sure to play it. So this is definitely a little bit different than that key lime pie cookie, as it should be, as this is a pie. But it will be interesting to see how this one compares to that key lime pie cookie. And I should mention that I am a little spoiled with key lime pie because my mom, she makes a mean key lime pie. So it'll be interesting to see how this one stacks up to that one. Now, I'm actually gonna grab, man, once again, look at how, Cool, this, ooh, cool. It's a cool key lime pie. But this looks incredible. The presentation of these cookies has been, has been honestly, honestly pretty darn amazing. But I'm actually gonna go ahead and uh, get a knife and take a little slice out of this one. Slice of a key lime pie right there. Cheers. That's pretty good. Now, if my dad was here trying this cookie with me, I wish he was because he loves key lime pie. Currently, he's in Italy right now for work. I don't think they have key lime pie in Italy. <laughs> but as I was saying, if my dad was here reviewing this cookie with me, I know what he would say.
it's too sweet. It, it is, it, this is a pretty sweet key lime pie. Now, it being from Crumble, I mean, what can you expect? It's gonna be on the sweeter side. That being said, I could, or not I could, I wish that Crumble did up the tartness of the, the key lime just a little bit more. If they added just a touch more of that key lime juice, maybe they're running short on key limes. I know in my area, we're kind of on a key lime shortage. My mom always has a super hard time finding key limes. So maybe that's just in my area. You know, they don't have as much key limes, as many key limes, so they can't make it as tart. Maybe in your area, you know, you got key limes left and right, so that's not an issue. <laughs> but back to the uh, the pie here. Mm. That graham cracker crust, they nailed that part. Although, I don't know about you guys, but whenever I have a key lime pie, the crust goes all the way around. And you guys can kind of see here that, well, obviously the crust does not go all the way around. It's only on the bottom. So maybe if they could have, you know, wrapped the, the cookie that isn't a cookie that's actually a pie in a crust as well, and not just put it on the bottom, I think that would have been a nice touch. But besides that, you get the key lime. The little lime on top, I mean, this is, I mean, crumble, they go above and beyond. Who else would have thought of that? To put a little, little slice of key lime on top. You know, because of that, I'm gonna give this an extra half a point. So for ratings, I'm gonna give the key lime pie cookie that isn't a cookie, that's actually a pie from Crumble Cookies that doesn't really make cookies, only kind of makes cookies now, a nine out of 10. Hope you guys enjoyed this week's crumble, not a cookie but actually a pie review. And I'll catch you back here for, honestly, at this point, I don't even know what I'm gonna be reviewing from Crumble. All I know is that it's gonna have Crumble on the box. Actually, Crumble, they need to start making new boxes for products that aren't cookies. It's can't say Crumble cookie if it's not a cookie crumble. Come on, it should have said Crumble pies. Catch you guys here in the next one. If you made it to the end of this video, then I'm sure that you want to become a fast foodie as well. So all you have to do is hit that subscribe button. And to see exclusive behind the scenes footage, then you can head on over to Instagram and follow the fast foodies at Fast Foodies Review. What's up everybody? This is Parker from the Fast Foodies and I am back with another review. Well, this is actually another crumble cookie review. As you guys can tell, I have my good friend Josh on once again to help me review another crumble cookie. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And man, uh, this week's menu, it was pretty stacked, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah. There was a, I think there was like a peanut butters one. There Snickers. was yeah, a Snickers one, mm -hmm. an iced oatmeal one. But triple chocolate. The triple mm -hmm. chocolate. But I didn't decide to go with any of those. Even though I love my chocolate, mm -hmm. I love my peanut butter. The one cookie that I decided to review for you guys this week, or well, that we decided mm -hmm. to review for this week, is the Key Lime Pie. Oh, and if you want to see more crumble cookie reviews or reviews of just delicious snacks in general, what should people do, Josh? Should like, comment, and subscribe, yeah? Exactly, mm -hmm. make sure to do all of that. But now, Josh, do you know why I decided to go with a Key Lime Pie cookie, even though there was a cookie that had Snickers and peanut butter on it? I believe you said your mom makes key lime pies a lot. That is correct. My mom makes a pretty amazing key lime pie. My dad actually, funny story, whenever my mom makes a key lime pie, my dad always gets mad because his weight always goes up like five pounds. <laughs> he ends up eating the key lime pie. But as I was saying, my mom makes an incredible key lime pie. So when I saw that crumble cookies came out with the key lime pie, I thought this may be uh, pretty interesting, you know, mm -hmm. to see how this crumble cookie key lime pie compares 
My mom's delicious homemade yeah. pie. Yeah. All right, you want to taste it? Yeah, I will it? say first the presentation is excellent. They even got like in a tart pan, so there's yeah. little ridges. It literally does side. look like a mini, almost yeah. like it's more like a kid tart. Yeah. Uh huh. And then they, it, yeah. great presentation, honestly. Oh, yeah. Ten out of yeah. ten. But we we all know that yes. we care about the, the taste the more. The taste. Yes. yes. All right. Mm-hmm. Let's open this up. I've had I've had issues before. When <laughs> I break it. We'll see if I uh, see if I'm successful mm-hmm. this time. That's a, that's a pretty clean yeah. break, wouldn't yeah. you? Yeah. yeah. All right. There you go. Mm-hmm. All right. Okay. Let's, let's see how it tastes. All right. Mm. Exactly. Mm-hmm. I'm surprised. Mm-hmm. I thought that was going to be super sweet, seeing as mm-hmm. it's coming from Crumble. And that's actually one of my dad's biggest complaints of key lime pies that you can buy in stores mm-hmm. is that it's usually too sweet and you mm-hmm. don't get enough of that key lime flavor of that yeah. which is really key in a key lime pie yeah <laughs> no pun intended <laughs> but yeah i think there's actually a good amount of that key lime flavor what do you think Doc? yeah and i really like the um the crust it is kind of like a graham cracker crust it like, is but mm-hmm. still a little it's like thicker it's more like a cookie but thick with two mm-hmm. c's yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. No, I agree. They did somehow manage to mm-hmm. take like a cake or not a cake crust, a, a pie crust, mm-hmm. and put it into mm-hmm. like a little uh, cookie form. Um, you get it a, definitely tastes like the rim cracker and butter. Yeah. And everything, so. I, I'm mm-hmm. surprised. I definitely thought that it was going to be way too sweet and that frosting was almost going to be like a vanilla frosting. Yeah. But, uh, but it was like the key lime filling, basically. I agree. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'm, mm-hmm. I'm impressed. So, mm-hmm. all right, Josh. What are you gonna give? Um, what are you gonna give this key lime pie cookie mm-hmm. from Crumble Cookie? Say nine out of ten. Like this, is pretty ten. awesome. Yeah. Yeah, mm-hmm. I'm gonna get. I don't know. It's a good. It's a good cookie. He's got more to compare <laughs> it with his mom's. Cookie. I don't think it's as good as my mom's homemade mm-hmm. key lime pie. That would get easily a ten out of ten. But I'm gonna have to agree with Josh here. I'm gonna give this a nine out of ten. And Dad, I don't mm-hmm. think you have a Crumble Cookies near you, but if. Uh, if you somehow come across one, I don't know. Um, you might want to try this out. This is good. Um, but yeah, mm-hmm. hope you guys enjoyed this review of uh, the Key Lime Pie mm-hmm. Cookie. And uh, we'll see you guys yeah. in the next one. See you later. That was good. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. I'm curious the the lime, if you're supposed to just like air <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. Maybe you're supposed to like sprinkle it on top. Uh, maybe. <laughs> yeah, then you get even more of that mm-hmm, lime flavor. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'm gonna try it. Yeah. Here's some bonus mm-hmm. footage. Of course, mm-hmm. my friend Josh yeah. did get the uh, what's the, the Snickers one? Oh. Mm-hmm. <laughs> With the peanut yeah. butter frosting. It's not very uh, structurally sound. Now, is this one served warm yeah. or cold? I assume cold. Mm, I think. Cold, yeah, but I think it's still maybe just a little warm from no, this one was served warm. Oh, yeah, yeah, because that one, my cr- my key lime oh, was yeah. served cold. Okay, this is served warm. Hmm. That's pretty good, yeah, like very flaky. Yeah, what is that? Um, yeah, oh, yeah, it tastes like those really simple, like peanut butter cookies that you make where it's like. A cup of peanut butter, yeah, yeah, cup of sugar, and an uh, egg. yeah, That's no, what I there. agree. I've made those a lot as a kid. Yeah, oh, this is a good one. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Like nice and that crispy on the edges too. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, thank you for the impression. Falling apart. Yeah. If you made it to the end of this video, then I am sure that you want to become a fast foodie as well. So all you have to do is hit that subscribe button, and to see exclusive behind-the-scenes footage, then you can head on over to Instagram. Follow the Fast Foodies at Fast Foodies Review.